Oh, so sweet. Well, turning to the forecast, it's nice to see the sunshine back out. <laughs> yeah, right. It's been a, it's, it's I feel been like a, it's been a while, it's right? It's been a few days, yeah, because yeah, that storm moved in, so it brought us the rain, you know, yeah. cloudier skies. Yesterday, we didn't necessarily see a whole lot of rain, but we stayed cloudy, mm -hmm. stayed on the cool side, the back side of the system, and now the dry air is coming through, and so that's what's leading to the beautiful sunshine that we're already starting to see out there. Let's uh, talk about numbers, though, because yesterday was a very average day, despite the fact that we had the clouds in place. Uh, we topped out at 48 degrees after a morning low of 42. It's only warm six degrees. Averages are 49 and 32, and the records were 71 and 5. That was for your Sunday. Uh, now, here's a cool time lapse coming in from our Tanker 5 Oaks Parkway camera that's pointing off to the uh, east northeast. And so you can see the flow of the uh, clouds there and just a nice, quiet night. Still quite a bit of traffic during the overnight hours. But out there right now, look at that. The fog has lifted. And now it's just turning into a few clouds elevated off the ground. I mean, well, fog is a cloud. It's just on the ground, right? But now it's starting to mix out. And this is just going to be a picture perfect uh, day. We're really looking at tons of sunshine, some nice dry conditions. We're going to warm up a little bit more than what we saw yesterday. We're already at 46 and it's 12, 18 in the afternoon. Two points at 44, so that's still on the higher side. That should begin to come down a little bit before it kind of cramps, uh, ramps right back up as our next storm system approaches the area. We've got 48 degrees in Union County, 48 also in Cock County, so really across the board, 40s and, and low 50s here at this hour. Now, Skywatch and radar showing a, a few clouds, but they're dissipating, of course, and really going to continue to see plenty of sunshine here locally and even regionally. We did have that dense fog advisory that stretched all the way to Middle Tennessee. All in all, we're going to be doing great. High pressure is building its way back in. Uh, we do have some clouds that are off to our south and southwest that produce some high-level clouds over the next couple of days, but all in all, really high pressure is going to give us just tons of sunshine today and tomorrow. But our next storm system will be a gathering its uh, getting its activity together and heading our way. That will increase our clouds as we head into our Wednesday. You'll start to see those clouds uh, Wednesday morning creep in from the south and southwest. This is the moisture that's going to be heading our way. And as we head into the day on Wednesday, we be, do become overcast and cloudy. On Thursday, that's the moisture we're going to be tracking. I'll highlight that here in more detail coming up in just a second. But to our north today, forecast highs in the 40s, 50s, and 60s across the state, 60s to our south. Still kind of cool, though, in Myrtle Beach and Augusta, Georgia at 66. Now, when you look at the seven day forecast, again, remember an average high is in the upper 40s. We're going to be in the low 50s today, tomorrow, plenty of sunshine, some morning fog expected again tomorrow. Increasing clouds through the day on Wednesday. We start off at 33. We warm to 54 and then here comes the rain Thursday and Friday. By the way, Friday is the first day of winter and that officially comes in at 523 and then we'll cool off a little bit over the weekend. But here's the setup. So remember picking up the timeline here again at seven o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. Moisture starts to push our way. Clouds are going to be with us. Chance of rain increases Thursday morning. Here's seven o'clock Thursday morning. The center of low pressure is going to be to our south and west. That's going to track its way across the deep south into the state. By 7 o'clock, we're going to continue to hang out with quite a bit of rainfall. We're going to continue to see more rain heading into our Friday morning. Area of low pressure kind of strengthens, so that means the wind is going to pick up a little bit. So it is going to be a little breezy on our Friday. On the back side of that system, we don't have a ton of cold air as it stands right now, but you can see the, the mountains will be squeezing out some snowfall, and we'll see more snowfall up to our north. Rainfall is going to be pretty impressive. We could see anywhere from 1 to 2 inches of rainfall here locally and around our region. And then when you look at the snowfall forecast, again, not too terrible impressive the higher elevations but more so up into Virginia and Ohio so if you're heading off uh, to your destination starting this upcoming weekend Friday Saturday mm -hmm. Sunday time frame really Thursday Friday Saturday uh, that's really going to be the most